Friends, welcome back to the Brave New Wear Show. My name's Christian. Last summer, I did a video talking about boxy tees. And without a doubt, the best option that I was able to find was a Uniqlo U boxy tee, specifically made for women that had ideal measurements. And I bought like four or five copies of this t-shirt so that I would have it on retainer. I'm wearing one right now. It's like my favorite tee. And to my dismay, Uniqlo U didn't make another variant of this t-shirt this summer. There is a boxy tee available right now for men. And I was considering picking it up, but looking at it online, looking at the reviews, it looks like it's okay, but I don't think it's ideal. I was looking for boxy tees that I could buy right now on Amazon that would fit the bill, basically. Something that I could recommend to you guys that you could pick up right now and would be ideal. So uh, for all the t-shirts I'm sharing today, check out the links down below. This Check won't out the cost links, you anything to bro. look at the links, but it does help out the channel. Do me a solid. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, leave a like if you like the video, and let me know what you think down below in the comments. Let's get into it. Boxy tees, it comes all down to sizing. Uh, the Uniqlo U t-shirt is so ideal because the measurements are nearly the same across the chest as they are from the bottom of the collar to the bottom hem. And when you're looking for boxy tees, typically what you wanna look for is a t-shirt that doesn't look very long, but does look very wide. While I was looking on Amazon for something that was a little boxy, I came across this one. It's an American apparel tee that is supposed to be a boxy fit. Now, to basically fill you in if you're confused, American apparel did filed for bankruptcy about four years ago. And that's around the time when all of their retail spots started closing up. I remember there were so many in New York, now there's none. But when they filed bankruptcy, they were purchased from Gildan. This is my favorite out of the batch. For one, I like the washed black look. I like the material, it feels kind of thick and it feels like it's a better material than even like my Uniqlo UT. The Uniqlo UTs, I mean, I wear them, I wash them constantly. I'm wearing these all the time and I have no problems. Like they're not fraying or falling apart in any way. But this American Apparel tee definitely feels like it's a little higher quality. And honestly, the fit is pretty good. It isn't as boxy as my Uniqlo U t-shirts, which are kind of dramatically boxy but it definitely is boxy enough where I am happy with it. Now, I picked this guy up in, I just wanna double check. I picked it up in a medium, which is typically the size that I would wear for a t-shirt, but I bet you could even size down and still have a relatively similar uh, look. So the medium does feel a little big on me, but I think this is the ideal fit for what I'm looking for because it's definitely roomy in the chest and it is longer. It is like, it does have some length, so it's kind of closer to a typical t-shirt, but I, I would be stoked to pick up more of these. At $15, if you guys are looking for something cheap, relatively, that you can pick up right now that has kind of the good, that good fit, and comes in some pretty good colorways, this is not a bad option. Next on the list, a t-shirt that I wanted to give a try, is the Carhartt Pocket T. And this is in the classic fit, which they describe to be very roomy, uh, good for somebody who's out working a Carhartt lifestyle. Um, but something that I noticed off the bat in the reviews is that everybody said that they run pretty big. So I picked up a size large. I would have considered picking up an extra large just because, you know, Maybe that would work for me, but hearing that they run so big, I was afraid to do so. Now, in terms of quality, the Carhartt tee does feel pretty thick. It does feel like it's going to hold up, and I liked the color options that they provided. A lot of them look kind of 
like a garment dyed aesthetic. They already look kind of washed out, which I think is cool. And so material wise and like colors wise, I think they're pretty good, but it's definitely too long for what we're trying to accomplish. It might have the right material and it might have the right chest fit, but just too long. If I were to hold on to this t-shirt, I honestly probably only wear it like tucked in to my pants. Otherwise, I think I'm gonna return this one. And the first thing that I'm going to recommend is kind of a hack. Uh, and it's, it's easy to do and realistically, it's something that you can do to kind of get the best measurements that you want. So one of the things that I picked up was a large Gildan t-shirt. It's like $2. And I knew that the t-shirt wouldn't be exactly my right size out of the box, but with a little alterations, it could look basically the way I want it. What I did was I bought a Gildan tee in a size large. And what we're gonna do with this project is we're going to cut the hem to match the same length as the chest measurement. And I'm also going to cut the sleeves to give it a raw hem look. I think going even larger, like an extra large or XX, XX666 large would give you probably a roomier, boxier fit, but this is kind of cool. I mean, kind of the sleeves off kind of gives it like a muscle tee look, you know? Um, and like, honestly, I would totally, frankly, I'd totally wear it like this than I would straight out the box because I like this more. All right, guys, I like Ultimate boxy tee that you can pick up right now. It's a box. Okay, so like what I like about it is like, it's perfect in terms of silhouette, but construction leaves something uh, desired. So there is this brand called Los Angeles Apparel. And I've been kind of interested in their products for a second because I don't know, it looks like they have some pretty good stuff, like really simple basics like uh, uh, duh, like American Apparel used to have. But to clear up what the difference is, it's this. So the original founder of American Apparel, his name was like Dob Cherney or something, it's on the screen. So this dude was celebrated for, you know, being innovative in retail and marketing. He was a big supporter of like immigration rights and supporting LBGTQ during a time when they, you know, it still wasn't legal to be gay. So externally for a long time, this dude was viewed as a positive role model in fashion, Ugh. but a lot of allegations came out of sexual misconduct. And, you know, it, it, it seems like <sighs> this dude is just bad news. So he was actually removed by the board from American Apparel, the brand he started, and he started Los Angeles Apparel. It's like the same thing, same marketing. It's kind of, it's a little confusing. So I'm just kind of giving you my two cents about it because I'm not sure I might pick something up from them. I don't know, guys. But there was this one top that I was looking at. It's like this super boxy, heavyweight, jersey or um you know like cotton top thing it looks like kind of like a cut up hoodie it looks really cool i was considering picking it up for this video but because of the pandemic they are not fulfilling orders right now i might in the future but i also might not needless to say i don't know check this piece out it might be worth it might not be worth it but like american apparel seems fine now that's Joe. So I hope this helps you out. And as always, I will be back again soon. If you're loving the content, consider joining the Patreon. I have some 
I have some stuff I'm cooking up. I, I'm, I'm, there's, a, there's going to be a renaissance. I'm ver on the verge of creating new content and a new energy for the channel that I think you're not going to want to miss. And also check out my interview with um, Pair of Kings. I thought that was a really good video and you guys are ignoring it. Uh, so you should check it out. As always, I'll catch you later.